Welcome back. Well, certainly was a cold start this morning. Most of us were near freezing cool this afternoon, mid to upper 50s. Not quite as cold tonight, uh, but still we're going to see temperatures dropping into the 30s. Nice and seasonable for tomorrow. Uh, and then we are looking at some big time changes heading into next week An Arctic air mass moving in and maybe even the possibility of some light wintry precipitation. No snow. Don't get your hopes up there. It would be in the form of uh, some light freezing rain. So we'll detail that in just a second. Let's get a check though of temperatures across the lower 48. We are currently in the upper 40s to lower 50s at the top of the hour here across the Cadiana. So if you are heading out. It is going to be quite chilly out there. Notice our Arctic air mass not too far away. You can really uh, uh, pinpointed here and highlighted across the map 41 in Little Rock, but Oklahoma City, they are already down to 14 degrees, negative four in Kansas City, where of course there's that uh, uh, playoff game tonight. Wind chills there will be in the negative uh, around negative 30 degrees around kickoff. So some very cold air. Obviously, we're not going to see temperatures like that, but the air mass is dropping southward and we'll get a taste of it into the early and middle parts of next week. Coldest mornings next week still going to be Tuesday and Wednesday morning. We'll be in the mid to upper 20s. First thing Tuesday morning, maybe some light freezing rain. We'll detail that in just a second. And then we're going to be heading for the upper teens to lower 20s first thing on Wednesday morning and wind chills there could approach single digits, at least in spots. So satellite radar composite quiet conditions across the Cadiana, mostly clear skies uh, in place through this evening. Overnight tonight, winter storm warnings and watches in effect across the northern part of the state. And then as you get into Arkansas, portions of northern Mississippi and Tennessee. Now here locally, there's a winter weather advisory as far south uh, as Sinla, and that is going to be an anticipation for the possibility of some freezing rain Monday evening. We'll see if this advisory gets extended a little bit farther to the south to include portions uh, of Acadiana for Monday night, early Tuesday morning. As again, models kind of hinting uh, that the risk could extend a little bit farther to the south during that time period. Something we'll kind of keep an eye on for future updates. Tomorrow, we're not looking at any issues. Again, we're going to be starting in the 30s. Most of us will push into the lower 60s under mostly sunny skies. Here we go into Monday. Models backing off on rain chances during the afternoon hours. We are going to be watching this area of low pressure developing and uh, essentially kind of uh, tracking south of the coastline. Now the upper level pattern is still going to be supportive for overrunning moisture Monday evening into Monday night. And keep in mind, that's the time period that the some of the coldest of the Arctic air is going to be spilling southward into Acadiana. So we're going to start off with some light rain and then there's that brief window early Tuesday morning where the rain could change over to light freezing rain. As far as accumulations, models not in good agreement, but for now we're going to say there could be some slippery and slick uh, spots on the roadway, especially uh, the elevated uh, roadways. We're talking bridges and overpasses for some of you on that early morning commute on Tuesday, especially for northern Acadia. And of course, that part of the forecast always kind of tricky when we're talking about wintry precipitation, but something we'll kind of uh, watch the model trends on and for sure keep you updated over the next 48 hours. So uh, keep it tuned to KTC for the latest. But what we do know is that some very cold air is on the way. High temperatures Tuesday, only top it out mid to upper 30s. And then as mentioned, the coldest night is going to be Tuesday night into Wednesday morning as temperatures will be dropping into the lower 20s and wind chills uh, well below that. We'll detail that in just a second. Meanwhile, overnight tonight for the short term, most of us mid to upper 30s. First thing tomorrow morning, most of us push into the lower 60s tomorrow afternoon under mostly sunny skies, but colder for Ville Platte on northward. Here we go. Monday, most of us will be starting out, uh, we'll say mid to upper 30s, close to freezing there for Ville Platte. And then notice that Arctic air is going to kind of be hanging in the balance by Monday afternoon. What do I mean by that? We're near 60 for Morgan City, Lafayette near 50, already in the 30s for Ville Platte, and then on northward in the 20s for the northern part of the state. Wind chills, somewhat of a problem. Again, Tuesday morning, most of us feeling like the teens and then lower teens for Wednesday morning, maybe even some single digits in the mix as well. So bottom line, have the heavy jackets and coats ready to go and spend tonight or uh, tomorrow uh, finishing up those freeze precautions, uh, insulating and protecting those exposed pipes if it's an issue at your home. Mid to upper 30s tonight, 61 tomorrow afternoon. Seasonable temperatures, mostly sunny skies, so a 
nice day. Here we go. Arctic front arrives on Monday. Showers arriving late with some light freezing rain possible late Monday night, early Tuesday morning. Stay with us as we keep you updated on any sort of travel issues in the days ahead. Very cold mornings for Tuesday and Wednesday. Hard freezes expected with high temperatures in the 30s and 40s and perhaps another surge of Arctic air on the way as we head into next weekend. That's a look at weather for now, but stay with us. We're going to have more for you coming up after the break.